Welcome to the first tutorial for the FLL section on the Mars website. I'm all way. We'll be taking a basic look or basic overview of the NXTG software. So let's get right into it. First of all, to start programming your robot, you're going to obviously have to install the NXTG software. The software that you need to install has come on a disk in your NXT set that you purchased. When you install the software, it is very, very easy to install and is it, it shows you the whole way through. So once you've installed that, your software is obviously going to be under your start menu, all programs, and scroll down until you get to Lo LEGO Mindstorms NXT folder. And then you're going to click to run the application if you haven't already put an icon on the desktop. If you put an icon on the desktop, you can go ahead and run that. So you'll see this menu, it says LEGO Mindstorms loading. So while this loads, it's very, very key when you're first starting out to program that you either have a robot that's being built or a robot that is built. There's a variety of things that you need to know, including which motors are your drive motors and which ones are not, and if you're going to use any other sensors. So that's very, very important information to get before you start programming. So now that the application has loaded up, you see that you have your start a new program window here and open a recent program and getting started and your software overview. You can name a program by going there or it's going to call this Untitled 2 and go. As the application loads you will see this very very gr basic grid um, application. First of all let's start at the top here. You have your normal tab menu that you see in other applications. In the edit menu, menu the only things that are different are manage custom palette which allows you to change what's on here because this is the palette and define variables and manage profiles which we'll get into in a later tutorial. In your tools you have calibrate sensors, update NXT brick, and block import and export wizards which we'll also get into a later video. Down your side here this is your common palette and you will see your what palette you are in in your common if above this word and here it says common so that means you're in a common palette this is the applications you usually get in the common palette just by dragging them out you have a simple block usually when I program I'll use the complete palette because it's just a, um, laid out a bit better we'll go over a few of the some of the features your gear block is obviously your your motor block and that allows you to drive forward and back you have your record and play which allows you to record functions and sounds and that kind of stuff you have your sound function which allows you to play sounds your display which allows you to show displays your weight which allows you to weight your loop and also your switch which we'll get into later your action panel you also have your motor sound and send message because these NXT devices are equipped with Bluetooth, but you won't, are not allowed to use Bluetooth in competition. Below that, you have your sensor functions. You have your touch sensor, which you've seen, your sound sensor, your light sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and your NXT buttons can be used as a sensor. Your rotation sensors, which are equipped already in the motors. Your timer and also receive message. As I said before, you're not allowed to use Bluetooth in competition, so those functions are not needed. Your flow functions. You have your weight, as I explained before, your loop and switch, which I'll get into a little bit later, and your stop function, which pretty much just kills the program, which you probably won't be using. In the, dat in the data function palette, you have your logic block, your math function, compare, range, random, and variables, which you probably won't be using. And your advanced palette, you have some text, number to text, keep alive, file access, calibrate, and reset motors, which you probably won't be using. On this side, you have your Robo Center, and which you are allowed, you can build some of the pre custom robots that are already there. By hitting the X, it goes away, and you connect to Global Portal. My Portal, Portal is it called? Here, this is where your My Blocks are stored and your web downloads. In the bottom right hand corner, you see five buttons. The first button with the arrow pointing down is obviously the download button. To 
download something to the robot, you're going to have to have a standard USB cable. This USB cable is the same kind that you use to plug in your printer to say to your computer. The next app, next button up is your NXT window, which will allow you to see battery life and name your robot. Next is download and run selected program. Download and run, and also your stop if the robot that you're running is still plugged into the computer. So that's been a basic overview of the NXT software. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will start programming. Thanks for watching.